Is there a level on the chart without which I will never be able to trade? Is there a level without which my chart is not just incomplete but completely unreadable to me? Yes, there is and we shall be discussing it in today's video. The level I'm talking about is actually a range of three lines on the chart which act as extremely powerful support and resistance levels and are referred to as the central pivot range which I shall be calling and referring to as CPR in the rest of this video. In his book, The Secrets of a Pivot Boss, Franklin Ochoa compares the central pivot range or CPR to the moon and says it controls the tides of the market. It is from his book that I learned the importance of plotting CPR on my charts and that CPR takes trading to a whole new level. CPR is basically a range consisting of the central pivot, the top central pivot called the TC and the bottom central pivot called the BC. So I'll show you on my whiteboard here how it is. So if you see a line like this and a line like this and another line like this. So this entire thing is called the CPR. It's a very important concept to understand what the CPR is. See, a CPR can be a wide or narrow. It can be very, it could be a wide. Sometimes it could be a very narrow CPR or it could be a very wide one also. It can be either narrow or broad. So both narrow and broad CPR, they indicate different things. What they indicate, I will tell you as we go forward. Now what is the formula for calculating the CPR? Uh, so it's a fairly uh, simple formula. It's basically the as, as the central pivot, you have to calculate the high low close that is the H L C. So you have to add these together and then the sum of all these you have to divide by 3 that becomes the formula for the central pivot now what is the formula for the bottom central pivot right so that is h plus l and this addition you have to divide by 2 now what is the formula for the top central the formula goes like the pivot minus the value of the bc that is the bottom central and then you have to add the value of the pivot to it. So this is how the CPR is calculated. So uh, you know you don't you have to understand it. You don't have to keep calculating these uh, values every day. These values uh, in something like TradingView, even in most uh, brokers terminal have the CPR built in. So uh, you can use the built-in CPR, and you have the CPR available in TradingView also. So it is freely available. You don't have to pay anything for it. Now, what is the significance of having the CPR? Let's see that. So generally speaking, if the price is trading above the CPR, it is a bullish day. And if the price is trading below the CPR, it is generally a bearish day. Remember, this is no rule. This is just a guideline. That does not mean that you should go out and buy above CPR and sell below it. If this is the CPR, and you see that there are candles on the bottom. Usually when the price approaches the CPR, the CPR will provide resistance and if it approaches from the top, then it will provide support to the price and price finds it most difficult to break the CPR. That is what the CPR is. It's the central pivot range. It is the most important support or resistance on the chart depending on where the price is relatively. Now see there is a method that needs to be applied and trading is definitely not that straightforward. So this is no recommendation. So tomorrow if you see that there is a, uh, a CPR and you see that uh, price is trading above it, this is no recommendation that you buy when the price comes over to the CPR. No, that is not the way. There is a method that needs to be applied to it. But uh, let me tell you a few general rules see now what does a wide CPR indicate so if the CPR is wide that is if it is like this okay if it's a wide CPR 
then generally a wide CPR indicates a sideways day. A lot of the times candles will open like this, maybe somewhere here it enters the CPR. It probably can break the central pivot and then it takes support at the CPR and then it again starts to rise. So it can go like that. And then again on the top, once it reaches, it again takes resistance and so price just keeps going inside CPR the entire day. That is a that becomes a sideways day. So generally when a wide CPR is there, price finds it more difficult to penetrate it and a narrow CPR is easily penetrable. So if it's a narrow CPR, so something like a narrow range CPR. So you might find a CPR someday which is very narrow in range. So sometimes it will be, it will be this narrow. So if price tends to approach it, so the chances of price breaking through the CPR are higher. But again, if price approaches CPR, you have to observe price action. Most important thing here, here is to observe price action. If you don't observe price action, then the chances of success in that trade are very very less. You have to understand that price action is of prime importance when it comes to trading. So around the area where price comes inside CPR, so some, somewhere like this, so somewhere like this when price approaches or it looks to break down out of CPR or it looks to break out like here, you have to understand that you have to see price action. It is important to understand here that nothing works permanently or nothing works always in trading. Nothing works all the time. These are just probabilities, not certainties. So you cannot be very certain about the fact that a wide CPR means a sideways day. It cannot be. The most important thing here is to keep a probability in your mind always. Whenever you enter a trade, it is always probability. So it's 50% here and a 50% there. So 50% uh, of the times you might be right, but 50% of the times you will be wrong. And that is the truth of trading. So as we said that on a wide CPR price might be going sideways more often. It could happen that it could be a trending day on a wide CPR day also. So even on a wide CPR day, price might trend towards the upside or the downside. And even when there is a narrow CPR, something like this, price might be range bound. So it is not a certainty at all. But generally speaking, a narrow CPR is easily penetrable. So the probability of a trending day is higher see a narrow CPR. CPR is the most important support or resistance level on the chart. It means that whenever you see that price is approaching CPR, you should be cautious. From there, price can either give a big breakout or it can reverse. If it approaches from below and it does reverse, then uh, you can probably take a short trade there depending on the price action. But price action has to give you a signal. Similarly, if price starts falling, there are high chances that it will take support at CPR and reverse. So if you see a reversal candlestick formation there, you can take a long trade there. If you see a CPR, like this and you see candlesticks approaching it okay and here at the central pivot if you see that there is a pin bar candle which is green in color then the chances of price reversing from here are high so there is a reversal here and you can take a reversal by keeping your sl below the entry candle and you can take your profit back at day high from wherever the high of the that particular day is now you know that you should not short or long when the price is approaching cpr you should wait and see whether there is a confirmation from price action and only then take the correct position in the market if you feel that a breakout candle is forming on the other side of CPR, then you can take a trade. And if price is showing you a reversal sign, then you can take a reversal trade from there. Let me take you to the charts and show you CPR is important and how 
it affects people who don't use CPR. Take a look at this chart. This is the central pivot. This is the R1, the first resistance. This is the R2. And below here will be the S1, S2 and so forth. Okay, now let's take a look at this chart. Price opened. It was an average candle, this one, the first candle. And then price started to fall. So it broke the pivot on this particular candle. That was the third candle. That is the 925 candle. Now, here somebody who sees that the central pivot is broken, he says, wow, this is a breakdown. So he goes short on this candle. His SL is up here. Take profit will be below. And that is how he goes short. Now what happens is price falls a little bit and then reverses and his SL is taken. Now let's see what happens when somebody is using the CPR. Now you quite clearly see why price reversed. Price reversed exactly from the bottom CPR. So this is the top CPR, the central pivot and the bottom CPR, the B CPR. So this is where the price reversed from. So you can see that price nicely took support. If you can see these two candles, you will know that there are there are nice pin bars here which suggest that there are buyers. If you see these wicks on the bottom, whenever you see such wicks, you have to know that there are buyers on the bottom. And then the buyer was successful in pushing the price up. So this is the importance of CPR. In some other video, I will tell you how to trade the CPR exactly. Uh, how to take trades based on CPR and how to be extremely successful in taking breakouts and breakdowns from CPR. Okay, so let's take a look at some more charts now. Take a look at this. This is nifty five minute. Look at this candle. Look at this first candle. Look at the size of that candle. Do you see the size of this candle? This is a huge bearish candle and it is extremely tempting the moment you see this candle to short this candle because you think that it's going to be a, bear, a bearish day a strongly trending bearish day when the opening is so strong right okay now let me sit, show you what exactly happened here this is the central pivot range it's a it's an average sized central pivot range it's really not very wide and it's not too narrow also but see how nicely central pivot range has provided support to price look at the wick on the bottom this is a huge wick and this wick suggests that there are buyers right here so they were successful in pushing the price up right from the cpr can you see how big this candle is the length of the first candle is so huge yet buyers were successful to raise to take the price higher and it was a big trending day Take a look at this chart. There is no CPR here. So again, we'll see this is the central pivot. This is S1, the support, and this is R1, okay? Price kept going sideways, isn't it? You can see that price was going sideways. Price was making a complete range. It was almost in a full range here. So you can see the kind of range price was locked in and till around the 11 o'clock candle it was in one range and then it started rising now let's see what actually cpr shows us what happened that day see now till the 11 o'clock candle price was caught inside cpr this is again i'll show you this range is the CPR these three lines that you see are the CPR right and once price broke out of CPR there was a big rally here you can see the way price went to the next pivot here this is the previous day high take a look at this chart now this is the central pivot this is R1 this is R2 central pivot and support one as you can see price kept going sideways the entire day see how range bound the day was it kept trading in the same range and it did not go anywhere it was entirely sideways now let's take a look at a chart with the cpr there you go 
Now you can see how wide the CPR is. The CPR is extremely wide and like I said it's a higher probability of the day being sideways if the CPR is wide. It is not as if the day is going to be sideways, there is no certainty but it is a higher probability. The day opened with this kind of a bullish pin bar but then it kept going sideways and it closed around the same area where it had opened. So you can see how beautifully price takes support at CPR. You can see this candle here. Again, you can see these wicks on the bottom. This suggests that the CPR is providing support to price and price kept going sideways. This was the 19th. Again, you can see it was a trending day and so again you will see that this is the resistance one the r1 this is the central pivot now let's see what happens when we apply cpr to the price there you go see i was telling you that it is not necessary that uh, with a wide cpr this is probably the widest cpr we have seen so far so it is not necessary that in a wide cpr day the day will not be trending or the day will be sideways see how trending the day is but you can see how price was caught inside the cpr this entire time after 10 o'clock when price broke out and it broke the day high here it took support at the top central pivot and then the rally so this is how important cpr is this is how you can read charts using CPR. So you can take charts, you can read those charts. You can find out how price reacts around CPR. And you can generally assume that on wide CPR days, you will have to be careful trading the price on either side because the price might not show any trend at all. Now see how abnormally wide this CPR is. This is an abnormally wide CPR and see how difficult it gets for price to go away from it see how price was that day it was completely this day was completely choppy see there was price did not go anywhere you know even when price came back here down to the support here it could not break it so this is how price reacts on days with wide cpr this is what mostly will be seen so as you just saw from those charts, CPR is the most powerful pivot of all pivots and price finds it very difficult to break the CPR. And if it breaks, then you can expect an explosive parabolic breakout to either side. It could be to the downside or to the upside. So CPR once it's broken, it is broken with a lot of buying or selling power. So you can expect there to be a parabolic breakout and you can take part in the rally and I plot CPR in every chart like I said in the beginning of the video you have to get into the habit of doing the same too look at every chart using CPR and study those charts and you will know that the power of CPR is unimaginable so that is it for now please do comment if you like the video also press the like button and please let me know in the comment box below whether you want me to cover any specific topic and I will be only too glad to cover it. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.